Hey guys, so one of the experiences I want to reflect on was basically yesterday we were at dinner and um, we got there and we were sitting at a table that was a group table basically. You're close to each other. So there was a group from Germany 4 on my left and there was two people on the other side, a couple. And, um, but the, the gentleman on my right, you know, I'm sitting there because my friend Kay went to the bathroom and I'm sitting there on my phone. I was actually checking the pictures and the shots that I took earlier that day. And he asked me something about the, um, the dome, but I didn't have a response because we hadn't yet gone to the dome. Um, but nonetheless, we got into good conversation from there. I, we found out that he was a doctor, surgeon, from Germany and his wife was a dermatologist. Um, they spent two years in the US. There was a teacher at the table and the teacher's husband, you know, designed this this lawn lawn spray for Germany. There's this this automatic ro robot robotic um, lawn mowers in Germany. We had all these conversations. We you know he him and the guy they, they were living together but now he drives an hour away to get to their house and he provides him with his wood for his fireplace. But the point is, we had such a great experience at dinner with them because of the conversations we were having. Um, the food was okay and it was good, but the conversation made it so much more pleasant. I could have seen if we were not open to conversation with them, how unpleasant it would have been. You know, we would have probably, probably just been bothered by everything they would have done because we we're so close to each other and um, having such an so being open to them being open to their questions and the conversations we were having just made this dinner experience a whole lot more enjoyable from both sides you know learning that the other guy was Italian moved to Dubai and his, his girlfriend, they came there, they were coming back to Italy, so he can um, probably introduce her to his parents. Just made this experience so much more interesting, enjoyable. Yes, these shots are a mixture of the stores Don Juan and Alcott. Um, both stores offer amazing prices. Don Juan specializes in suits and Alcott has more of um, trendy um, clothes like this. So yeah, when you go to Italy, look for Don Juan and Alcott. It's Sunday, by the way. So the streets are quite empty. Just came out of the store. And I went in and I saw the prices of a lot of the things. They're pretty cheap. So I guess if you want to come to Italy to shop, it's not a bad idea because the truth is, you will get uh, products and clothes for cheaper. You just probably gotta shop around. So yeah, for those of you who may be into shopping, I can see why you may want to do it because clothes is definitely well-priced. In this part of Italy, you'll find a lot of the major stores. It's a big shopping area. You'll find the flagship store Fendi and a lot of a lot more high-end stores, along with other um, well-priced stores. I see what we get. So when they ask you if you want the white sauce, do not think it's Alfredo sauce. This is a white creamy cheesy sauce that is quite different from Alfredo. On our way to Stadio Olimpico, we stopped at this restaurant for dinner. Um, it was right next to the tram, so we were able to 
grab a bite which they offered a two course dinner and was able to hop right onto the tram to go to the stadium <laughs> Hey, so we are on a tram headed to Well, <laughs> oh. uh, we are on a tram headed to uh, game it's Lazio versus I don't know who they're playing against, but the game starts at 8 30, it's uh, 7 30. Hopefully, we get there in the next. Um, let's say 30 minutes because we need to buy our tickets to the game. It's gonna be a fun experience because we, I know that football in Italy is an amazing experience. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you some shots of it. It's going to be good. So yes, again we are actually at the game. Well, we're trying to get tickets and is it I'm trying to get tickets? There's honestly a big group of people behind waiting for tickets. Currently we are six, nine, sixty something, but they're up to nine thirty-eight. So yeah, we're they're on we're nine eighty-eight. They're nine thirty-eight. Oh my god. So yes, hopefully we get in to see this game. Uh, it's gonna be a fun time. When you read blogs and they say to buy your tickets in advance to see different sites in Italy, it is not an exaggeration. Uh, it's 20. You want that one? 20 euros. These are the cheapest. Yes. Yes. I'm a student. 20. <laughs> so where would we sit actually? So 20 is here, right? 20, yeah. So we'll do 20. Okay. Uh, I need passport, please. I have my ID. I don't have ID card. Passport. Sure. I don't have passport. I have my. ID. You have ID card. Okay. Uh, they were 20 euros each. Um, we're lucky. The game did begin at 8 o'clock. Uh, oh. The game began at 8 o'clock. It's now 8.30. So we missed 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna enjoy. It was funny, this, 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 this French guy came in with us. So we're now going into the stadium to try to see the game. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we are running to get to the game. It sounds live. Um, you hear the noise. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Israel. <laughs> Greetings. Yes. <laughs> um, it's going to be fun. Um, you feel the energy, honestly, outside the stadium. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I thought this was a good idea to actually come and see the game. By the way, the distance from where you buy the ticket to get into the stadium is really far. Yeah, we're almost there. What's this, Oh God, where are we going? Jesus, people just run all over the place and they're going to the wrong place.
might be doing over there, but he'll come across the stadium. So currently, I am at the um, game. It's, it's currently halftime at the stadium. Um, the energy was, it was there's was a lot of energy in the stadium. Um, it's currently 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, but I think the call is home. There's a lot more people here for home. There's some people to my right who were um, for the opposing team. And directly, honestly, behind me is the um, home team. Obviously, that side of the stadium is pretty filled. Um, the energy there is great. I honestly wish that I had bought tickets and sat over there, but I don't think we were thinking about it at that time. Um, but it's cool. It's not a home, it's not a major game, which is why a lot of people aren't here. But I guess if it was like, um, <laughs> the little kids are coming in looking. But I'm sure if it was like La Roma and um, the home team played, it, <laughs> it would have been a packed um, stadium. So, yes, that's what's going on right now. It's um, half time currently. And, um, yeah. They're here, and it's just always been the point for the last four years when I travel that has always come up is guess what Trump being living in America being an American the world is on, honestly understand politics they see America they like America but now we have a president who I believe the world generally does not like I've seen it from even before he became president the conversations just has always been how well before it was I I don't believe you guys could elect this guy but now it's like you guys really elected this guy how could you but that will always be a topic that comes up especially with educated people so be prepared to probably share your perspective on that topic and honestly, if you may not be into politics, probably you're into fashion, I'm sure your conversations would be around that. If you're into movies, your, your conversations would be around movies. So just always be ready and willing to interact with people and have a perspective and a view to share with them. Be open to having good laughs and enjoying good time with people when you travel. Because honestly, that makes the experience so much better and so much more enjoyable so yes hopefully you're planning for your next trip and it will be an enjoyable one